Welcome back to Farm Simulator 2013 in the year 2013. I'm Gray Gamer, and today is Sunday, April 14th. So those of you that live in the United States, you have one more day to get your taxes done. There you go. That's my public service announcement for today. Uh, we got the caravans hooked up to the tipper here, and uh, we've got the... Uh, the load of potatoes, we uh, took the load of potatoes in the man truck over there. That tipper, we've got the load of beets. And uh, the caravitz is getting uh, transported down to the cornfield to be used down there at the biodiesel plant. So I figured I might as well utilize it while I can. Uh, while I'm heading that way anyway. So we're going to take it on down to the... Uh, Take these uh, potatoes down to the uh, inn and sell them. And then we're going to uh, position this at the uh, cornfields, which we're still waiting to grow. I have moved most of the equipment. I haven't got it all yet, but uh, close. Really, the only I think the only thing I haven't moved yet is the big the big mower uh, and the two little ones. Uh, the big one because I haven't decided which way I'm going to go yet. Um, so uh, I mean, as far as what field I'm going to go to, uh, I did get the uh, I did purchase the field down by the cows and the field down by the sheep that we that we had on our other game. So we got that up to date, and then uh, I've got uh, we still got uh, we still got the fields growing at regular speed here, uh, normal speed, uh, because I, I want to make sure I got everything moved to position before we started uh, speeding it up. Um, but uh, we still have to purchase our repurchase our cows and our sheep uh, that we had in our other game um, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hold off on that because I want to uh, make sure we uh, uh, have those fields planted in grass uh, and get the, uh, the uh, forage wagon full of grass for the sheep get some silage up in the, uh, for the cows. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're working on. All right, so this is our potatoes. Drop them off. Oh, that didn't take long at all, did it? <laughs> okay, uh, looks like the uh, harvester there is causing a little bit of a traffic situation. through okay now that my friends is a big cedar <laughs> that is a John Deere cedar and uh, oh you know what uh, I don't know where it came from I mean I know where I got it from but I don't know where the uh, mod for it comes from um, the gentleman that helped me out uh, in our live stream, uh, Shugden uh, Jack, uh, sent me a message and said, hey, I, I got a mod that I think you might like. And because uh, I was telling him that I was looking for, a, we were talking about uh, getting a, a large cedar. And uh, he sent me the link to this. Um, so, uh, if you're watching Shugden, 
Jack uh, post a link uh, in the comments or if it's okay with you uh, tomorrow uh, I'll, I'll copy and paste the link that you that you sent me if that's okay um, but I want to get permission first so uh, yeah okay now wheat barley granola grass corn potatoes beets so it does them all and we want grass because we're going to go over to the make our way over to the sheep pen I wonder if this thing can even pull it without uh, going up in the air let's, let's seems to be working okay. So yeah, we'll take this over to the, uh, this will make short work of that field over there, I'll tell you that. Now this one could plant field 40. <laughs> Pretty quick, I would imagine. Actually, a couple of these uh, on each end would probably take care of the business. This is John Deere Cedar. Well, you can see it on there. It's the uh, John Deere Cedar 18L. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure what website uh, it came off of or whatever. But uh, I appreciate you hooking me up. Uh, field down here at the sheep, number 38, the one you can see right there yeah, on the PDA below the sheep uh, head icon. Uh, it's probably going to only take uh, a couple of passes uh, with this thing to, <laughs> to get that seeded up. So uh, yeah, we'll have to check it out and see. Uh, there's the forage wagon. sweet. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up on this. And, uh, see if we can swing around here. Stop. Okay. Hire the worker. full pass on that one, but it's not too bad. Have to keep an eye on it, though, to make sure it can make the turn. And, uh, well, that looks good, though. Looks nice. And the fact that it can plant anything is what I'm liking. www.farming simulator Brazil B R A S I L dot com. There you go, fifty thousand for that. Uh, for that. But uh, and it does a good job.
David Cabbage, if you're watching, uh, this might be one of might be a cedar you want to look into getting uh, for your uh, for your big field on your Kansas map. This will take care of business for you. Plus the fact that it's only fifty thousand. Plus the fact that uh, you can uh, plant anything with it. Uh, I don't know if the fifty thousand dollar price tag is is uh, legit or not. I don't do all that research. Stuff, but it sounds like a, a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent deal on it. So yeah, let's see if it makes sense. It's gonna leave that little bit there, I think. Yeah, that's all right. I can deal with that. That's not too bad. So what that three now? He passes. This field is bigger than I thought it was. It's the it's the one over by the cows that is pretty small. Yeah, 35 is the one that's uh, over here on the bottom. Towards the bottom, just above 41. That's the one that's really small over by the uh, cows. We'll be going over there next. bring the big, uh, actually I'll need to do, I can do that now, the tab over. <laughs> tabbing through, tabbing through. There we go. Let's go ahead and drive this over to the, uh, to the sheep. And get it in position for, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, I'm going to get one of the, uh, I don't really want to drive those little hoppers over there. I need to drive the one. Uh, I need to get the one over to the sheep. So I might get a, I might get the little uh, carrier trailer for that or whatever. But uh, we're getting set up. We're getting back. Uh, Getting back to where we were at, where we were at, and uh, like I said, we're we're doing good. Um, we're still waiting on these fields to finish growing, but uh, I'm going to speed it up. But I want to wait till uh, till I have everything else handled. Like I said, um, but uh, yeah, so we'll get this down to the to the sheep that field that we're planting right now and then we'll head over uh, with that cedar and we'll head over and do the cow uh, pen and uh, yeah we be doing pretty good We'll pull this uh, forage wagon back around and help uh, use it to fill up the grass um, after this field fully grows. And uh, we'll be in good shape. I'll park this bad boy right here. There we go. We'll turn it off. Let's jump out. track shoes and see if we can catch up with the uh, cedar. <laughs> I figure we're going to catch it either right before it gets to the end or uh, just as it stops at the end. It looks like that's what's going to happen. It's going to stop and we're going to be able to get on it. <laughs> Let's see. Nope, not close enough. <laughs> oh, well. I have to. Oh, I guess.
guess I have to run around because there we go. Let's fold that up. Wait a minute. Start it up. Now fold it up. Yeah, that is nice though. Wow. That's a beast though, I'll tell you what. See that coming at you. Down the farm road. Narrow farm road. You definitely want uh, want to give it some give it some room. Alright, so we want to head over to uh, where do we want to head over to? Cows. Let's see. Right. Trying to figure out if I'm going the most efficient way here. Think out loud here a little bit. Yeah, I guess so. farmer view right there. Remember when I had to slow down, couldn't take this turn. Now of course I say that and I'll probably screw up and not be able to take the turn. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah this is the mill closest to field 40. So we're probably going to plant field 40 in uh, wheat or canola, whichever the mill takes the most of, or gives the best price on it. And then uh, we'll be set. Of course, this is the textile mill here. sheep and uh, our cows here once we get uh, like I say once we get a harvest uh, I want to get some silage up in the bunker over here for the cows too so like I say this is not gonna take long to, to plant this field and the beauty of it is that Hire the worker. And away we go. Shut that down. Carpet of green. Looking good. Looking good. Got the, uh, I've got the, uh, the feeding technology machine over there, and I've also got the front loader over there. So, uh, yeah, we just need to uh, harvest this and uh, get it all in the, in the silo or the bunker over there. and then we'll be ready to start up our cows again. So yeah. And I did this with all all with the same amount of money that I had yesterday. I decided I'm not gonna make any adjustments to the money. Um, because what I'm gonna do is um, I got all those crops to sell um, in the silo yet. So uh, that'll take care of uh, a lot of this expense. And uh, I figure that's that's legitimate. 
so I don't know if he's gonna make that little strip there, but if he doesn't, that's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat it. He's done. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to reset this to the farm. Yeah, that's it right there. And uh, reset this back to the farm. There we go. All right. So uh, there's the fork front loader and the uh, machine. I use that to suck the uh, silage out of the bunker and then put it in the uh, trough for them. So uh, on that note, uh, we're going to call it uh, a day. Um, oh, that's the other seeder. That's to show you how the difference. <laughs> um, we're going to call it uh, an episode here. And uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday, um, I got I go to a, a diabetes another diabetes class, but I'll be back uh, in the afternoon and we'll pick up where we left off, and uh, we'll get some harvesting going. So we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>